we can begin by you just introducing yourself. Leslie Bacardi, my role in the movie is the wife of Jorge. And um, that's about it. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> and I see the poster behind you. <laughs> yes. Well, um, I love the movie. I, and I don't know, I had a chance to interview some of the cast earlier and um, me and my kids watched it, loved it. And it was funny because, you know, my son had just gotten his um, driver's permit and that's Mm -hmm. always something that's asked of the question, you know, uh, what to donate the organs. And he was like, should I do that, mom? And I was like, yes, (laughs) you know, (laughs) it was funny. Of course that I could actually watch this with him and, you know, um, show him what a difference it makes. Yes. So, well, my first question would be just, you know, what was your first reaction after watching the film? Oh, well, I mean, it was a depth of emotion for us and, um, lots of highs and lows. We watched it the very first time before it had actually you know, come out with, um, with the Gregory family, they were with us Mm -hmm. and a few other family and friends. And uh, it's very odd to see yourself up on a big screen like that. and think that there are other people watching your life develop. (laughs) And we'd always tended to be very private individuals. So this was a, a big step for us, but we felt like it gave our message out. It honored Christopher it let people know about organ donation and just how much difference one single person can make. Yeah. Christopher saved five lives. That's a lot. That's you're really gonna, a lot. You're going to get me tearing up already. <laughs> I mean, the te- <laughs> I mean, that was one thing that it was so much emotion watching. Yes, it was a lot of emotion. Yeah. So how much input did you actually have with the script and, and, also, was it was it really true to your story? Um, well, there were a lot of things that were, you know, embellished a little bit. The beginning part and those things, not not our meeting or our love affair or anything like that, but a little bit of the family things. You know, Horty was only sixteen when they left Cuba, so okay. he wasn't really at an age where he was going to help run the family business yeah. or anything like that. <laughs> and it's a large family. Mm-hmm. So it, things like that, but most of a lot of it was true. Our, we were lucky to have a wonderful relationship together and a long marriage. Mm-hmm. So um, lots of friends and lots of family around like that. So a lot of that was true. And it was true to a point up for Christopher when then they took another step farther. I don't want to give it all away. <laughs> and it came back, but um it, it, they did a, I mean, I thought they did a really brilliant job. I thought they did a wonderful job with the casting and everything. Yes. If you watched it and you saw Rada in there, I mean, she's amazing. She looks a lot like me and yeah. had a lot of the same mannerisms and things. And yeah, very I, proud. <laughs> we, that's right. Well, she was one of us we got to talk to um, a couple weeks ago and in interview. And uh, yeah, I mean, that. It, it's the parallels in the story. I mean, has the two different stories. And, and I think that is what really makes it just uh, appropriate for all ages. Because, you know, my young ones were, you know, with the Christopher story. But then me, when yeah. it came to you and Jorge's story, I was like, oh, I want to see more of them. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so did you give her, I, I understand that you did meet her and talk with her, you know, while oh, filming. Yes. And what advice did you give her while playing you? Well, actually, she didn't need all that much advice. (laughs) Um, She's a very seasoned actress. And I think just by, you know, know, she would ask me some small questions about how I felt about things or um, our relationship or mine and different things. But she's very savvy. And... uh, we, they had some insight from different, they were able to read all the letters that we had written back and forth with the oh, Gregory family before we were able to meet. And yeah. they were like a series of love letters. And I think in that, that gave them a lot of insight into what kind of people we were, mm-hmm. what our feelings were like, how we felt about things. So that was a, 
was a little um, inside treat for all of them, I think. Yes, yes. And, you know, I told you the story of, you know, my son and our discussion. I just, what, what kind of advice would you give to those who uh, are thinking about, you know, on, on the, should I donate? Should I not? Like uh, thinking about d donating their organs. Well, uh, um, Christopher's parents told us that they were surprised when he, they saw his driver's license and he had ticked off being an organ donor. And his um, attitude was that, if I'm not here, I don't need these organs anymore. Somebody else can use them. And besides that, who wouldn't want this beautiful body? <laughs> <laughs> he said that. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> part of his, of his repertoire, I guess. It's like, for heaven's sakes, of course they want me. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I would say, you know, look what he did. He saved five lives. One person can make that much difference. Mm -hmm. What it gave to me was another 12 and a half years with my husband. Mm -hmm. That's a long time. Mm -hmm. People don't realize that. It's a, a huge gift. And one organ doesn't just mean that he and he enjoys it. It means that I got to enjoy it. All of our family got that gift. Yeah. And in turn, the community so, yeah. got that gift. And in turn, we were able to do something to, to pay back and to pay forward. And we were able to build this Gabriel House of Care and, and give to all of these other people too. So you, you don't really understand the depth of just one gift of how much that can you actually give in the end. Oh, that's what you got. <laughs> I was like, I'm not nervously like this, but <laughs> the story, it just, it just hits. Every everyone, I I was like I dare anyone to watch this and not tear up. <laughs> you know, it, okay, I won't take too much time. I just have one more question, and you know this this movie comes at, at a time you know our world our world right now. I mean it's yes. just hard, and you know the things we're going through the pandemic and this great election and just everything. Why do people need to see this right now? I think people need some hope and I think they need to start focusing on some different things. And I think people are really, you know, pent up and they're stuck at home and things like that. And I would think that people need to start looking at each other and look for the good things in each other. Yeah. Don't look at for the bad things and start harping on that, but, but look for the good things. I mean, somebody makes you a cup of tea and you say, you made it just right for me. Thank you so much for that. And little things like that. I wish mm -hmm. that uh, teenagers and younger children would, instead of making fun of each other, I want them to go and, and look at somebody and think about, you know, she really has a great smile, doesn't she? Or mm -hmm. she is so sweet to people or different things like that. So start focusing on something different. Start focusing on the good and not, not the bad. I agree. I agree. Well, thank you so much. And two hearts, you have to see it. I, I yeah. recommend it for everyone. It's, 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 look at me. I'm it's just fine. Yeah. Go online to twoheartsthefilm.com mm -hmm. and you'll find out where it is. Thank you. Don't miss Jim. out. No. Go and see and feel all, have all those emotions and feelings and, and get all the good out of it. Look at me. I'm tearing up to, right now you just talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thanks again. And thank you for joining me and taking the time out to talk with me about this. Absolutely, Amanda. Thank you. You have a great day.